Um, yeah, I was going to talk about Obama. And uh, one of those things that, that, uh, that one group was hoping for was, um, uh, and Riley, you know, Riley, you should be happy to hear this. They're, they might eliminate the don't ask, don't tell. And, um, you know, so, so men won't have to pretend that they're chicks on YouTube in order to, you know, talk to a man and have him, you know, say romantic things to him. Um, you know, it could apply everywhere. So maybe there might be some progress about, about changing the rule about don't ask, tell, and, and that gays could, uh, could serve openly in the military. I know I'm, that makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Excuse me. I mean, it un should be uncomfortable just being in the military alone. <laughs> you could get shot at or something. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as much as I'm like not really fond of the military or anything like that, because I'm sort of anti-authoritarian, um, but you have, to, you have to give the military credit. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I know in the United States that the military spearheaded changes in many ways for, for, for certain groups. We'll take the African Americans in the United States. Uh, during the Civil War, they, they formed a special platoons um, or a special group of black fighting men that fought for the North. And, um, and then later, in uh, World War II, we had the Tuskegee Airmen. There were, there were black serving. I talked to an old black man, and uh, one man. And in his case, uh, this guy later on went to become an architect after the war. So he, he was a smart man, but all the army would let him do was work in the motor pool. And then I understand there were other blacks that uh, dug latrines or cleaned latrines and things like that. But... They, got to, they put on a uniform, and so it was the beginning. So like, like gays entering uh, main uh, society, being accepted by the mainstream, um, the military might do a lot for, for making that possible. Like, like, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, uh, African Americans that served in the military, got out and said, this is different. I got out of my little town. I saw, part, I saw the world, some of the world. And, um, I mean, I think besides uh, 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 the Jews that, that went down and, and helped the blacks register to vote in the South, the, uh, the, the Christians, the, the Protestant Christians, along with uh, Martin Luther King that, that preached about civil rights from the pulpit, um, those things were all part of social change uh, for civil rights. And I know that that there's a lot of African Americans that don't like to equate the civil rights movement, their civil rights movement, with the uh, rights that gays are trying to uh, to achieve, and um, it's certainly true that in the black community, uh, gays are not accepted as uh, I mean <laughs> as readily as they are in the white community, which isn't saying much. So um, so anyway. I mean, there's a lot of talk about, you know, dis Obama being a disappointment to people on the left. I'd have to say, though, there's one thing there that at least he's showing something, you know. And um, pour myself some more tea. So I thought that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. I'm kind of looking through my paper here, and I'm trying to see. Oh, this paper's from last week. Oh, there was that one I was trying to save. And now I don't know where it is. Oh, here, this might be it. For the next segment of Fez Night. You know, I don't know, maybe I should change the order. Do you guys want to hear politics first in the very beginning? <laughs> Do you want me to, to talk about the news in the very first part of, uh, of uh, Fez Night? Or talk about it later? Ah, oh, man, I took notes, but boy, was I unprepared for this part. I was definitely unprepared. We got Sunday. Sunday. Well, I guess it's not here. I must have I must have thrown it out.